सात हजार दो देव कैप्चर टू देव नॉट कैप्चर नाइन Are you right? One, two, three, nine, four, nine. five, six, seven, eight, nine. Probably. Six, eight, 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 eight,
There after Ulad, uh, this was of the course, grace marks. Of, of course, there after a fresh examination was held. No, Ulad, I would, I would, Ulad, I would, uh, Ulad, that is impinging upon the entire system they have. Now, initially, they arbitrarily gave grace marks for which they were not entitled to at all. Now, this is how they have given grace marks across the country. There was absolutely no justification because Ulad, they have not come clean on that. Here, they should have said, in Bhadurgad, a different paper was given. That is why we are holding a re-exam. Fine. First, they said that there was a delay in distribution of paper. There was a loss of time and hence grace marks. When they were caught in this court, then they appeared before the Honorable Other Coordinate Bench and said, now we are having a re-examination. So please do not go into how we gave the grace marks to this 1,561 people. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, 1563. So the question that how they gave grace marks to 1563 people on account of loss of time has not been examined by this honorable court. They in their reply, they say that the issue stand resolved because we have had a re-exam. My question is Lord, that how in the first instance they identify 1563 like the center in Bahadurgarh, and to hush up the matter, they say we have a re-exam. Now, Mulut, if it was on account of loss of time, they should have given opportunity to everybody in the country. That wherever there is a Mr. Huda, that has attained finality. Our court dismissed that. Uh, our court has upheld the re-examination. Initially, they decided to give. They initially they decided to give uh, grace marks to everybody. That was uh, when that that was done. There were representations. They said they told us last time that there were representations. Thereafter, they decided to revoke that because a fresh committee was appointed, and they decided to have a re-examination. Is that correct? But, uh, my most respectful submission. I, I may have to interrupt here for, only for a moment, my lord. Later. The, the, later. Later. My my respectful submission is, my lord, this. In the first instance. They indulged into pick and choose for identifying 1563. One classic example is of Bahadurgarh. Then Lord, nobody knows how they picked up 1563. And re-examination, the people who were not entitled to get this chance again, got the chance again. And out of this Lord, number, out of the total, uh, out of 15, 63. Out of 1563, how many make it into the 1 lakh 8,000? Yes, well, that's an interesting question. They have not disclosed. But yeah. out of 1563. Then tell us. Then tell us. That's a, the proof of the pudding is in that. Yes, sir. Out of the 1563 who got the retest, how many actually which have included, made it? Well, eight I'll, I'll just, ranker, which that's, included eight top ranker from that's one center. Right. That's, no, we'll, we'll find us uh, right. to do that. Now, Lord, uh, I have done now in the top 100. These cities gave reputation to the Huda, One fact in when the you are arguing, I've just from that top hundred, I've done an analysis. Yes, the maximum from the states, you said they had disclosed data only for five states, four or five states. Yes. Now, Andhra Pradesh got seven in the top hundred. Yes. Bihar, seven. Gujarat, seven. Just check, check this up. Ask your team to check it up. I've just done it manually. Andhra Pradesh, seven. Bihar, seven. Gujarat, seven. Haryana, four. Delhi, three. Karnataka 6, Kerala 5, Maharashtra 12, Punjab 6, Rajasthan 19, Tamil Nadu 8, UP 6, and West Bengal 5. Yes, so it appears that this spread in the top 100 marks is distributed no. across the country. Yes. No, it's, it's, this it's, covers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 states, and 12 states and 1 UT. Yes, Yes, sir. On this 1563, I just want to point out one fact. 
the people who got re-examination opportunity, it is out of them, 73 did not pass the basic marks in the 100 100 candidates. Our affidavit Malot says, first 100 candidates was analyzed and it has been reported that they are distributed across 95 centers located in 56 cities within 18 states and UT of them. 69 Malot in Vanshika Yadav state. What have you said that the first 100? First, in this regard, I'll just read Malot. Uh, it is submitted that allegation of the petitioner that number of students scoring high marks are only from certain centers is completely unsubstantiated. In this regard, the result of top 100 candidates was analyzed and it has been reported that they are distributed across 95 centers located in 56 cities. Yes. Within 18 states or UTs, of the country. This diverse distribution highlights the widespread participation and competitive spirit among students from different regions and educational backgrounds. Mr. Huda, this is not you on the other aspects. But if you look at, as they say, first 100 candidates are distributed in 95 centers in 56 cities in 18 states. Apart from that, as we said, the maximum we have taken in uh, students at least five or more per state, five or more per state, we find that distribution in 12 states and one union territory. Yes, With the highest being Maharashtra, which is, uh, sorry, Rajasthan 19, followed by Maharashtra 12, followed by Gujarat and Bihar 7, and Karnataka 6. Lord, uh, yes, yes Lord. For us, my lord, 67, the 67 students yes, they, who secured 720 out of 720. So they are also, my lord, reduced now because, so because of the re-examination. Now tell us, originally 67, <laughs> originally 67 students yes, yes. got 720 out of 720. Out of 720. Yes. Now, uh, many, how many of those were in the? I think seventeen were in that one five six three. No. Yes. No. no Forty four. No. How much? Forty four. Blood they are reduced. Seven were there. Blood. I gave. Reduced, yes. Got reduced to sixty one because of the exam at Bahadurgarh. And it's forty four. We are attributing to. The aspect of one question paper in which two options were marked correct. As a result, we are offering 44 candidates got the benefit of extra four marks, making it to 720. If those 44 are removed, then toppers in the entire country are only 17. So 44 students got the benefit of the grace marks. Yes, ma'am. Not grace marks, full marks for when they were an, there was an error in the the uh, NC, NCRT book contained the wrong answer. No, there were two correct answers. Yes, that's what NCRT. So anybody who gave either the NCRT answer or the actually correct answer was given graded as uh, correct. Yes. If they are they are, removed, they are they were 44. Yes, because they, if they, because they would otherwise get minus because this is a negative marking system. Because you didn't go by the NCRT, your booklet didn't go by the NCRT uh, uh, answer. But what was truly the correct answer? Because they said that look, the earlier edition of the NCRT book had also this answer. Now, so, so you treated both as correct answers. Yes, and those are 44 students. And total, my lord, are otherwise 17, which in a multiple choice question, my lord, uh, framework is possible in that yeah, out of. So now, as, a, as, as it stands, 61 students across India get 720 out of 720 today. Yes. Out of which 44 students have the, got the benefit of that one question uh, where there were two, uh, two correct answers were treated as the correct, uh, two options were treated as correct answers. 